everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Josie. And we're with the Winkle. Today we have a very special project called Flipbook Animation. Let's see, do you like doing animation? Yes. What does animation mean? Tell us. Um, it's like drawing. Mm-hmm. Josie, what's your favorite brand or production studio that does animation? Disney. Disney, that's gotta be one of the best ones. Okay, so do you remember at the beginning of most recent Disney movies, animated movies, there's like that flip book of- Of Mickey. Of Mickey, it's called Steamboat Willie, and he's like, <whistles> you know, and he's- <laughs> I can't whistle. <laughs> I actually got to go to San Francisco to the Walt Disney Animation Museum and I want to show you this little clip from my experience at the museum. It was amazing. Highly recommend if you're ever in San Francisco to go check it out. Here's the video. Hi guys, I'm here in San Francisco at the Walt Disney Animation Studio Museum. Behind me, check this out, all these animations. drawn by Ub Iwerks, which is Disney's um, partner and friend. And he would draw 700 of these a day sometimes. All this on this wall represents 15 seconds worth of animation. So check this out. I'm gonna give you an up close look at how slowly your animation has to move in order for it to be a seamless look. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here's Mickey trying to unload hay from this wagon. We're gonna go down this whole way and see how slowly he has to move. There's just very small changes from frame to frame. The hay's getting a little higher, Mickey's getting a little lower. And we're gonna fast forward a little bit, check this out. You can imagine if you're flipping through your flip book that this would all look like he's in motion. Finally, the hay is up in the air and we're about 20 frames down and the hay's finally up in the air. So you had to be very slow and very patient for this process, but what a cool effect it gives you in the end. Here he's going off with the hay, still running off. Every frame is very slightly different than the next. That was such a fun trip. If you guys are ever in San Francisco, I highly recommend going there. I wanna go there so bad. <laughs> but I just wanna remind you, like the video said, there are all those animations just to show a few seconds of, um, of the cartoon actually moving. So with our animation book that we have today, you have 40 pages and I gave you two books because one of them, trust me, you're going to mess up. And is it okay to make mistakes? Yes. Yes, for sure. Especially since most of us have probably never even done flipbook animation before. Nope. Once you have your first book and your marker, then we're ready to get started. At home, you might want to play this video and watch me do the animation and then pause the video and do your animation. So a lot of times in our Winkle videos, you might want to see what I'm doing and listen to the instructions and sometimes you wanna do it with me. So this is one of those times that you wanna see what I'm doing and then do it on your own. And of course, you can always pause the video if I get too far ahead. You can always rewind the video yeah. if you need extra instructions. Don't feel too. When we're starting our flip book, you might think, oh, I wanna do something really cool, like um, a face. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be really hard because <laughs> you have to draw the same thing over and yes, over Yes, yes, that's exactly my point. So we saw the Mickey animation, that was a professional, okay? Yeah. He, like I said in the video, he would make like 600 animations a day probably. None of us out there are doing that many animations, so. <laughs> Josie does no, love drawing. But we are going to start with something simple, a dot, okay? That's the dot of your marker tip. Okay. And we're just going to try and get that dot to move around the page. So watch this. Every drawing that you do in the flip book needs to be on this side, on the right side of the flip. See this fold when you're flipping the book? 
whether you flip it backwards to forwards or forwards to backwards. It's only showing this It's half. only, yeah. So try that. See where all your drawings need to be. They need to be on that side. So pretty much half of the paper. Let's pretend this paper is our animation book, okay? So we already know that half of the book, we can't go over there, okay? We already know that half the book is for no drawing. This is the no drawing zone. We're gonna do a frowny face over there. No drawing, okay? Aww. And then we're going to pretend like uh, we have a dot. And our dot is going on a journey. And so every page that you do, the dot is just going to gradually go up and then gradually fall down. Okay, so on each page there will be just one dot on a page, and I'm gonna show you how to do this, one dot on each page, and the dot is gradually gonna go up and come down. Story. So we're gonna tell a story about a dot, and our dot is going on a little adventure. Okay. The adventure starts at the bottom of the page, and then you just flip to the next page, the dot is slowly, very slowly, going to work its way up and over. Okay, this dot's journey is going to be bouncing on the paper. And I'm not doing a circle, I'm just doing a dot. Now the dot went up high, now it's very slowly gonna come down to the bottom of the page. I'm just flipping and dotting. This dot, all it did was jump up and jump back down. Well, you don't jump down, you fall down very slow movements. Just remember that video I showed you, how each frame of the animation, there's just the slightest movement, okay? So our dot, let's see how that worked. Did it work? Our dot went up and then fell back down, okay? So the slower your dot moves, the better, because our eye is being tricked into thinking we're seeing an actual dot moving up and down on a page. But really what we're seeing is a lot of pages together with the dot moving, okay? So the, the less your eye has to work, the more it'll look realistic. The more your eye has to work and make that connection between one page and the other, the harder it is for our eye to understand what's happening on the page. So I'm gonna show you my dot bouncing on the page. face that's really cute I like it okay on your next book once we've done our practice that was like our rough draft our what? practice book <laughs> you can try something more complicated on your next one if you want so it could be like a, a face like a smiley face that goes sad and then happy and then <laughs> sad and then happy um, as long as the face is in the same spot every time or you could have like a balloon that's floating, so it might start here and then float off the page. Or you could have uh, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna try it. I am going to make a balloon inflate Ooh. and then pop. Whoa. I know, I'm gonna try. I'm okay. gonna try, let's see, I've never done this before. 
We're gonna see how it goes. What are you deciding to do, Josie? Um, I'm going to try and like make a flower bloom. Oh, a flower bloom, that sounds awesome. Okay, so just remember to keep everything on the right side of the fold, okay? <laughs> it seems really awkward when you're drawing a picture to draw everything on the right side, but that's really the only way you're gonna be able to see all your awesome art that you're doing. work I think that if took I a while. yeah I think if I were to do this again I would not color my balloon in because that took a lot of work <laughs> <laughs> I would just do outline yeah outline of a balloon would have been much better okay so let's see what you've got well let me go first and then we'll do yeah. yours. Okay. okay so the idea of mine is for a balloon to go from small to so big that it pops and the balloon pieces fall to the floor Basically, Dad's worst nightmare. Yeah, he, he hates balloons. <laughs> he hates balloons. Okay, ready? That is so good. Okay, so do you see, I didn't even use my whole flip book, so I could use the next half to tell a whole nother story if I wanted. All right, so you can... Practice, and you can even do the backs of the pages, too. Then you can flip your book the other way. Okay, let's try Josie's The okay. Blooming Flower. The end. <laughs> That was amazing. Oh my gosh, that was so Yours good. Was no, I don't think so. Okay, guys, I wanna see what you make at home, okay? You have two books and each page has two different sides. So you could do forward to backward, backward to forward. So that's four tries that you can do at telling your flipbook animation story. And I wanna see it. So get a grown up to put it on social media somewhere and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That's at the Winkle Crate so we can see your flipbook animation and so everybody that follows the Winkle can see your flipbook animation. We are dying to see what you guys yes. made. We're so excited. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have, Have fun. fun. <laughs> Flipbook animation. I don't know. Flipbook animation. Flipbook animation. Okay. And our eye doesn't. Ugh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? I have no clue what you're trying to say.